Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install the iOS 16 developer beta without a developer license fully for free. This is a quick tutorial that will show you how you can get the developer beta profile on your device without having to sign in as an Apple developer. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so this process will allow you to install the iOS 16 developer beta on all iOS 16 supported devices, even if you don't have an Apple developer license. Now, just before we get started, I probably should let you know that um, this is a developer beta. So, word of warning, this isn't even the public beta yet. Um, so, I wouldn't recommend installing this on your main device. So, only do this on a secondary device or if you are sure that um, all the apps you have will work or you don't have important apps that you, are essential to work because sometimes things like banking apps and other things like that do not work with iOS beta software, especially not developer beta. So just be aware of that. So now what we can do is we need to open Safari. So this process will only work using Safari. You can't use any other browser like Chrome or Firefox. It has to be Safari. So if we open up Safari here, and then what we need to do is go to the search box and type in betaprofiles.com. Um, betaprofiles.com, it might start showing up automatically and then just click search. So this will load in, we'll just give it a moment here to load. And it says download beta profiles, get what's next now. Now excuse some of the ads, um, there, there are a few ads on this site, but what you need to do is just scroll down and you can actually see you can do this for all your um, many different uh, beta profiles such as iOS 16, watchOS 9, tvOS 16 and also some others. So what we can do here is because this is an iPhone, we're going to click iOS 16, but you can choose it for your particular device. Then it will say iOS beta profile and this one says iOS 16 beta 2. That's the latest beta as of the time of recording. And what you want to choose is click install profiles, just the blue button. And it just gives a bit of a word of warning saying, by downloading and installing this profile, you are enrolled in Apple's developer program. So as long as, as I said earlier, you are aware of the risks and the make sure that you back up your iPhone, that's really important on a Mac or PC or through iCloud, then you can go ahead with this. So just click install anyway. Give it a moment here and it says this website is trying to download a configuration profile do you want to allow this we can just click allow and then it will say profile downloaded review the profile in settings app if you want to install it so we can close that out now this just gives a few more steps which i'm about to go through with you now so now what we'll go to is we'll go to the settings app and in this settings app we can see here that it says more for your iphone so i've got a few um, messages here that I need to attend to, but sometimes it will just say profile downloaded. But if you just click in more for your iPhone, you can see it says profile downloaded here. So if we just click view profile, it then says iOS 16 beta software profile and it just gives a few details. You can click more details here and you can see it has the verified little tick there. So that's good. And then once you are happy to install that, you can just click install. You need to enter your iPhone's passcode. So I'll just do that quickly now. And then once you've entered your password, you just need to give consent. Just click install if you're happy with that and then install again. And then it will say restart required. Please restart your iPhone to apply changes. So I'll just click restart here. And this is now going to reboot the entire iPhone. So we'll give it a moment to reboot here. This will just um, install the changes made to the iPhone so that you can use the developer profile. And then it will should work seamlessly after that. Now just while we're waiting, in case you're wondering why it's a different background today, we're just doing some renovations um, at my normal filming location. So I've had to move to a different location which isn't um, undergoing work at the moment. So that's why it looks slightly different today. But we'll hopefully be back to normal set fairly soon. So now you can see it's rebooted. So we'll just need to enter the iPhone passcode. So I'll do that quickly now. And then once you're back into your iPhone, you can then go back to settings and then we can see if the profile has been downloaded. So we can go to general 
and then we can scroll down to VPN and device management. Then click that and you can see it says iOS 16 beta software pro profile. If we just click into that, you can see it now is now installed. And at any time, if you want to remove the profile, you can just click remove profile there. Now, if we go back now, we should be able to see that the iOS 16 developer beta is now available for update. And you can see it right here, iOS 16.0, and it shows there. Now, be aware that for this to work, you have to be on the latest version of iOS 15. So as of the time of recording, that's iOS 15.5. Um, so make sure that you're on the latest version of iOS 15 before attempting this, because otherwise it will not work. And so that's it on how you can install the iOS 16 developer beta profile on your iOS device without a developer beta license. Um, this is a really handy way if you just wanna get it for free without having to pay for the license and have to wait for the public beta. But we'll, um, be aware that the public beta will be available next month in July. So if you wanna wait out for that, that might be a better way to do it so it's a little bit more stable. Or you can wait for the final release in September of this year. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see any other tutorials on how to install the beta profiles on your other devices such as watches, iPads and Macs because um, I'm more than happy to make those if you'd like to see them. Hopefully you've had some great success in being able to install the iOS 16 developer beta software profile on your iPhone or iPad. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.